Hey everybody, it's Friday. In fact, if you look on the calendar, it's called Good Friday. Good Friday is the day that Christians remember that Jesus died on the cross. You know, when I was little, that term Good Friday always confused me. I thought, what's good about Jesus dying? But as I got older and saw that Jesus' death was part of God's good plan to save us from our sins, I could see why we called it good. I want you to hear the story of what happened on Good Friday. So I'm going to pick up where we left off yesterday after the meal with Jesus. <clears throat> when the meal was over, Jesus and his followers sang a song. Then they went to a place to pray. Jesus warned them, Tonight you will all leave me. I won't, said Peter. Jesus said, Before morning you will say three times, that you don't know me. Jesus was sad. He told Peter, James, and John, stay awake and pray for strength. Then Jesus knelt to pray. An angel from heaven came to comfort him. When Jesus finished praying, his followers were asleep. Wake up, said Jesus. The time has come. Just then, Judas led an angry crowd to Jesus. They were carrying torches, swords, and clubs. Judas promised to give Jesus to the Jewish leaders for 30 pieces of silver. He acted like a friend and kissed Jesus. That was how Judas pointed out Jesus to the soldiers. The soldiers grabbed Jesus to arrest him. Peter took a knife and cut off a man's ear, but Jesus cried, Stop! Then he touched the man's ear and healed him. All the followers were afraid and ran away. The soldiers took Jesus to the house of the high priest. Jesus followed far behind them. In the courtyard, a servant girl asked Peter, Aren't you a follower of Jesus? Peter said, No. Someone else said, You were with Jesus. Again, Peter said, No, I wasn't. Later, some people said, you talk like Jesus. Peter swore, I don't know him. A rooster crowed, and Peter remembered Jesus' words. Peter was very sorry. The lawyers told people to lie about Jesus to the Jewish court. When these people lied, Jesus said nothing. Then a priest asked, are you God's son? Jesus said, I am. His answer made the people angry. They spit on him and slapped his face. Then the Jewish leaders took Jesus before Pilate, a Roman governor. They told Pilate, he claims to be a king. Pilate asked Jesus, are you a king? Jesus answered, yes, my kingdom is in heaven. Pilate found nothing wrong with Jesus. But Pilate told the people that he was going to release Jesus. The angry people yelled, kill him. Kill him on a cross. Free the prisoner Barabbas instead. Pilate listened to the people. He let Barabbas, the murderer, go free. And he said, Jesus must die on a cross. The Roman soldiers beat Jesus. They dressed him like a king to make fun of him. Then they made him carry a cross through the city. The cross was very heavy. So the soldiers forced a man in the crowd to help Jesus carry it. Finally, they came to a place called Golgotha. There, the soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. Two criminals were nailed on the cross next to Jesus. Jesus' followers were sad and cried but many people laughed at him. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. When Jesus died, the sky turned black and the earth shook. The soldiers were afraid. They said, he really was the son of God. Jesus' body was laid in a tomb and a large stone was rolled across the entrance to the tomb. It was both a sad day and a good day. 
It was sad that Jesus had to die, but it was good that we were forgiven of our sins. Let's never forget what Jesus did for us. Let's thank him today. Dear God, we love you so much and we're so thankful for your sacrifice. Help us never to forget what you did for us. In Jesus' name, amen.